All right, so now that you have your song mixed, you know, you got the prop, you have the proper, everything's labeled properly, you have the proper um, levels, and you've added maybe some effects in here. All right, what you want to do is click out of all of that and turn your loop off and zoom out to the very end. I would bring this playhead to the very beginning, and you could do that by pushing this button right here or pushing space bar on your computer. Or excuse me, not space bar, but your enter button. Push return. All right. I would give it one more listen to make sure everything is flowing right. Maybe make sure everything, nothing is out of uh, sync here. Because sometimes you might, you know, copy and paste it wrong or whatever. You just want to make sure that you listen to it. So say if you copy and paste it wrong, uh, maybe say this was off. You would want to come in here and make sure that everything is on point. So I would come and move this in. To where it's supposed to be um but yeah that's pretty much what you want to do first and then what you're going to do is after you have everything ready to go come over here to share and then go down to export song to disc all right now what you're going to be doing is first naming your track. Now, I've already done the naming here, but what I would do is I would go ahead and put, put you know, type out like the name of your track. I'm going to say London. You can push a um, space bar or you can put you, you, you can, you know, say I would just go ahead and push a hyphen and I would put the genre. And then I'll put exactly what it is. I'm going to say background music. Okay. Now you can also choose where this file is going to go. I always have it go directly to the desktop. The reason why is because, you know, you can't lose the file there. You know what I'm saying? You're always on your desktop. You can easily find it if it's there. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually create an MP3 file. All right. This is one of the major ways or one of the major files that everybody uses. If you don't know what an MP3 file is, you know, you definitely got to, you know, get hip to uh, what's going on in today's times. But basically, we're going to create an MP3 file. Now, they have different quality settings here. Uh, you, you know, some people will say, well, let's why don't you just click the highest quality right here? The reason why I would recommend that you don't click that is because the file size will be too big. And on some players online, that file size will be too big to, you know, upload. So always go with um, this high quality setting, this 192 kilobytes over here. Or if you want to be safe, go over with the 128 kilobytes. But we're going to go with the 192. Click that and just push export. And as you can see, it's doing its thing, it's bouncing. And if you come over here to your um, desktop, you have your new file here. All right, it's gonna play through. Now, let's say you want a WAV file. All right, your same process. If you go here to share, go to export song to disc. As you can see here, there's no option for a wave file. Well, actually, technically it is. If you go to AIFF, that is actually a, another name for a wave file, but only on Apple computers. Don't worry if you see an AIFF file, it can be used on other systems like, you know, Windows systems or uh, personal computer based systems. Um, and it acts the same as a WAV file. Basically, a WAV file or an AIFF file is a more higher quality file. It, c it contains more data. And so it has a higher quality here. Again, you don't want to go with the highest here. Go with 16 bit, that's CD quality. 24 bit AIFF files are particularly. Um, because, you know, say if you're working with another creator and you want to keep as much of the particular quality in, in intact, then you choose this 24 bit. So say if you want to um, send this off to a mastering engineer, okay, 
then you can select 24 bit and then that would be the best thing for him because he can get the file at the best optimum quality but if you're posting it or uploading this uh, file to a CD you always want to go uh, with 16-bit so you put 16-bit you have already named it you already have it um, selected where it's gonna go your desktop just put export and it's gonna do its thing here all right and you go to your desktop to check and make sure and as you can see here you have your AIF file so that's how you export um, your track and I just want to thank you for watching man see you in the next lectures